Like, am I gonna have to carry my rose at some point? Because I don't know if I can. So freaking good. I am gonna say that I am a little disappointed so far. Hello, my beautiful people. How are we doing today? I hope you guys are doing so good. If your day is not going that great, I hope it gets better from here. Hope you guys are all having a great, great day. My bay, my bay, my bay. <laughs> My day is going fine, but I'm not feeling my best, but it's about four o'clock right now. You guys know, you guys know what we're doing today. I'm starting the Addicted series. <sighs> okay, so let me explain a little bit, a little bit before we get into the reading vlog. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be reading the first three books in the Addicted Callaway because I'm reading both the Addicted and Callaway in my series. But I'm, this vlog is just going to be around these three because honestly, first book, Addicted to You, and then Ricochet. Ricochet is very short and Addicted to You is also not that long. Addicted for now is a little bit thicker, but still. Um, I wanted to read these because the reading order, if you go on Christy, Krista and Becca Ritchie's website, they tell you the recommended reading order for the Addicted series and they say that you should read it intertwined with the Callaway Sister series. So the first three happen to be all Addicted. So to frame out what the series on this channel is going to be for the reading vlogs for the series because you guys have been asking me you guys are like guys where are the addicted series at and i am here to deliver this video like i've already said is going to be addicted to you ricochet and addicted for now i know that these are about lily and low the addicted series is about lily and low the first two books are only in lily's point of view and then this book we finally get low's point of view so i'm excited for this one but i'm super excited to even start this series i think my second video is going to be kiss the sky and hot house fire because those are two callaway sister books the next video after that is going to be thrive and addicted after all because that is like the end of the just addicted series and then i'll do fuel the fire and long way down and the very last video in the series is going to be just the epilogue novel so you guys can look forward to that timeline i do kind of want to space them out one this series is so so raved about and so i just i have a feeling that i'm going to love it so i kind of want to space it out i don't want to read it all at one time and also i want to have some other book content for you guys and not just this series and another thing will there be spoilers in this vlog yes i'm sorry but this series has been out for so long and i feel like there are so many people who have been like i love this series please read it so i am going to make it a spoiler one so if you guys haven't watched this yet i would just tell you to go ahead and click off and then when you guys do read this then come back to this video because hopefully you guys will want to and hopefully you guys will enjoy this so let's get into it i'm super super excited so obviously we're gonna start with addicted to you put my pink pin in my hair that's how i read like this 24 7. my mom always asks me how i can even do this but i watch youtube and tv while i read i don't know i just half to have on background noise we're starting this we have the book tabs my pink pin to annotate okay so it seems like they don't help each other with their addictions they kind of like almost have help each other with their addictions i don't know oh i just read the first sentence let's go i've read like two chapters so far and i don't know i'm feeling a little conflicted because i'm feeling like this relationship is toxic and i'm like you guys are fully aware of how the other one is struggling very very bad and you guys are just kind of like helping each other with your addictions mm, like lo is a raging alcoholic like he's drinking at all times of the day but lily is just like letting him do it and like helping him hide it and stuff and to me it's just Ew, and like I feel like Lo knows that like Lily has this attraction to him, and he just they just kind of like I don't know, I don't know, it feels a little toxic. Editing Destiny here, I just wanted to pop in and say because I feel like I'm gonna get comments on this, and I feel like I didn't explain this as I should have. I understand that they both have their own separate addictions, so that selfish part of them is going to enable each other because they have these addictions, but I was basically just saying like 
I'm not a fan of it and it was hard for me to like them as a couple while that was happening. But I just wanted to say that because I feel like I didn't say that right there and I should have is that I completely understand why that was happening. I just was not a fan of it. Hopefully it gets a little better. I've tabbed a few things. So I guess that's good. Um, I had to come down here to get some water and I thought while I get some water, let's talk about what I have read this far. So, I haven't made it anywhere like super duper far into the book yet because they're still reading into each other's predictions. And can I just say how much that's like really bothering me? I mean, I'm sure this bothers the other people when they read this book, but especially low alcoholism is such a really serious thing. And like the fact that Lily is just kind of like turning a blind eye to him being having such such a bad problem with alcohol obviously he has some stuff going on so he like is turning to drinking they just went to this little like brunch or whatever they call it with their family and like i'm sorry but rose am i supposed to care about her at some point obviously poppy already has a husband and a family so it's like lily rose and daisy but am I supposed to care about Rose? Because she is a huge witch, if you know what I'm saying. Like, literally at the brunch, never even said anything to Lily and tried to tell the whole entire family that she's pregnant when she's not. Like, am I gonna have to care about Rose at some point? Because I don't know if I can at this point. I don't know if I can. What's What's been going down? I don't know. I'm just a little conflicted because I'm just, I, I can't get over this point. I know I will at some point, but I haven't gone to that point yet where they're like, maybe we should actually help each other get better to help each other get worse. Um, but I hope I get to that point soon. Ugh, I look and feel freaking dead. I'm so tired. I'm about 50% through this book. Lily and Lo are in a relationship now, which is kind of weird because it's like he's trying to help her, but she's not really helping him at all, actually. He literally is an alcoholic, like has such bad alcohol issues, and she's like drinking with him and stuff. I don't know. It's like really weird to me. We just met Connor Cobalt, which I'm pretty sure, isn't that who Rose's books are about, or her and Connor? Um, but he's kind of a douchebag. <laughs> like, not in that, like, douchey womanizer way, but in a, like, I don't know. He just kind of, like, speaks his mind and, like, doesn't really care about, like, what you think and stuff like that. But he makes a comment about Rose, so, and I feel like, I remember the name Connor Goble. I honestly feel like not much has happened. I keep on thinking, though, like, when I think to myself, like, not much is happening. I'm like, um, probably because there's literally five books with them so obviously they're not gonna both get over their addictions in one book and then the rest of the book is gonna be them happy so i don't know i'm gonna try to read some more i don't know what time it is it is 9 08 p.m right now so i might finish this i might not i don't know i have to tell you guys this part that i'm laughing at because like Oh my god, okay. Lily, and Connor is tutoring Lily and she's like asking him questions and stuff and she asks him if he's single and he's like happily. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> okay. And she says, I tried to imagine what type of girl Connor would seek, but she seems unfathomable. Like a hazy picture with only her brain showing. <laughs> it's like you know that the author the authors like already knew what they were doing with Connor like when they were constructing this whole universe so it's funny for her to be like meeting Connor and being like could not imagine who he'd be with and it's literally gonna be her sister but then again when she talks about Rose and Rose is described she's like super super mean and just like really in your face and kind of just says whatever she wants and that's kind of how Connor is too so I'm seeing where they would be a good fit Okay guys, so things, things are getting good. Things are heating up a little bit. Also, I look so bad. It's literally 10 o'clock right now and I'm freaking trying to oh, finish this book. Anyway, I'm about 70% through and 
Now we met Rike and is is it is Rike Daisy's love interest? Because I feel like it's Lo, Connor, and Rike, and Lily, Rose, and Daisy, right? It's weird because Connor and Rike are now going to be Lily and Lo's friends. And I know where Connor fits in with Rose to be Rose's love interest, but I don't understand where Rike is going to fit in, especially if he is in college and she's literally 15. Wait, no, that's right, because it's an age gap romance. I remember hearing that, that it's an age gap romance. Well, I like Rike because Connor, I don't know how I feel about Connor. Maybe his friendship will become genuine, but like right now, he's literally telling people that he's friends with Connor, with Connor, with Lily and Lowe because of their status, because he's like super obsessed with like his status and getting into a good college. And I am, don't know if I'm liking that, but Reich is like catching on to their stuff so quick. Like Reich is basically telling Lily that he's not going away and that he can tell and he can see through their little charade. The bond between like Lowe, Reich, and Connor is really good. And I like that in books. Like when you have strong friendships, I like that. So I'm excited to read that. Like, honestly, if I had to rate this book right now, I'd give it a three and a half. I'd give it a three and a half. Like I want to keep reading their story and I want to learn about everyone else, but it's just not very interesting to me. I finished the book it's about 11 o'clock but i finished it i think i'm going to be rating this book a three and a half but on good on my goodreads it's going to say a three star but it's a three and a half i think it's just because we are genuinely just getting an introduction i feel like this book was just like an introduction story because all of the pieces that are going to eventually fit together throughout is kind of what they put in like finding out that reich and lo are actually brothers and then them battling their addiction at the and you know, Lo has to go to rehab and Lily's gonna go move in with Rose, which actually makes me happy, not only because they're fighting their addictions and actually being proactive about it, because very, very early on when they're talking about Rose and how Rose really wanted Lily to go to Princeton to be with her, had already bought like stuff for their apartment and was so excited and Lily decided to go to Penn with Lo. I'm just happy that they're gonna be able to bond as sisters because Rose really, really loves Lily, even though Rose can be intolerable sometimes. Overall, three and a half. It's not like that I didn't like it. It's just that I did find myself getting bored. It felt very repetitive. And then we were getting like other ones in. But when I, when I found out, I kind of was wondering why like Reich was so just like zoned in on helping Lo. So I was like, why does he care this much? But it was because he knew who Lo was when he saw Lo at that party. So he was like, I'm, I have to help him. He's my brother. I'm super excited. So I will catch you guys tomorrow whenever I get back from work. Hello, my reading queens. How are we all doing today? How are we doing at the moment that you're watching this video? I hope it is well. I just got home from work. So, you know what that means. I am going to chill for a little bit. So, I'm going to start Ricochet. Why did I just make that noise? But yeah, I already talked about this last night. Okay, let's start reading. I'm trying to grab the book. I just got out of the shower, but I'm about... 2% away from being 50% through this book. I don't I don't know why I just said that. I could have easily just said I'm 49% through the book. Don't ask why I just said that in such a weird way, but I'm 49% through the book. And here are my thoughts thus far. It's weird because I feel like I understand like, I didn't understand why people said that they don't really lo love the first two books, but then they love the rest of the series. I feel like the first two books, it is a backstory for every single person in these books. Like, obviously not all in. Like, this is Lily and Lowe's story, so obviously they're not going to go all all in on like rose and daisy and connor and reich but like we know a lot about them before going into their books which i know is intentional like i know they did that because we're supposed to care about them before we go into reading their books this hasn't felt like lily and low's story this has just felt like everyone's it's just kind of about like low is not in this story at all basically you're just getting a bunch of backstory of lily talking about like some chapters it's like from two or three years ago like stories of her and low so i feel like we are trying to get more of this book is more of 
like understanding Lily, understanding Lily and Lo from Lily's point of view, like stories about them, but we're also getting like some of Rose's problems and we're really getting introduced to Daisy in this book. Let me just say that the way that they treat Daisy in this book, not the way that the sisters do, but like the way Daisy is just treated, like she's almost just treated as like a money sign for the family. Like they wanna treat her like she's like over 18, but then that's literally what Daisy complains about. She says they want to like treat me like this, but then when I get back home, they wanna treat me like I'm 15 year old. But then when I'm not at home, they wanna treat me like I'm like 20 something, you know? So. I feel like she's gonna have a lot of identity struggles just because of all of the stuff that's been put on her from such a young age. I don't know how old she's going to be at the start of her and Reich's story because right now, like I said, she's 15, he's 22. That's a little, that's a little weird. I feel like I'm gonna like the next book way better than the first two. I think this one so far is gonna get another three and a half. It's just like not amazing. Like I'm not, like I am a gross in story. Like I wanna keep reading. But I'm just kind of waiting for Lo to come back. And that thing is, I'm a little scared because you hear Lily talk about how she is scared that Lo isn't gonna wanna be with her after he gets back from rehab. And she's been sitting at home waiting for him to come home and what if he comes home and he don't wants nothing to do with her, you know? Um, but yeah, that is where I'm at. I think I'm gonna sit down and finish it because I'm, like I said, about 50% through. So this one's a really short one. Hey guys, okay, so I just finished ricochet i think i'm going to stay with my rating earlier how i said it's going to be a three and a half because like i said i feel like we were just kind of getting to know everyone else in the story like we were kind of navigating of course through lily getting a deeper understanding of her and her family dynamics. I feel like that's what this book was about. So next is Addicted For Now. So I have some predictions for this book from reading the back. And it's so, the authors did this on purpose. Well, you can just read the Addicted series, but if you read it the way they recommend, you read this book. And then the next book is about Rose and Connor. So it's like, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of drama in this book. It's a lot thicker than the first two. And then we're gonna go to this one. So, and this one says they're about to be a reality TV show. So I'm confused. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of drama in this book, but I'm about to end the video, so I don't know if I'm gonna get to this one today, but we shall see. Hello, everybody. It is literally days later, but I just wanted to say this freaking vlog has taken me so long, but it is just because I have been super busy with work and trying to get videos up. We are now gonna be starting Addicted for now. Super excited, I'm gonna try to get it done today. No promises though, um, but I am gonna try to get it done today. I don't know how, I'm only about this much through the book. Let's see, cause I have not updated my Goodreads. So I'm on page 112, I am 21 percent through the book it's weird because with the rest of my reading vlogs i would be like constantly updating but it's so weird because i feel like nothing is happening granted it is only like 20 percent through the book but this is a common thing that i feel like i keep on saying with this series and that is that i feel like when they say the addicted books are supposed to be about lily and Mo. Do they center around Lily and Lo? Yeah, but I don't feel like we are constantly getting Lily and Lo. Like, I feel like it's never just truly about them. Obviously, we have the side characters, so you're gonna like hear about them, they're gonna be in it. But I feel like we're always hearing about Rose and Connor, and we're always hearing about Ryke, and we're always hearing about Daisy and like what they're doing. Like, they have their own books for that, you know what I'm saying? We're getting little remnants of whoever's texting, I don't know why, but my guess is that it's Sebastian because Sebastian just seems like he has an ulterior motive and that he's very jealous and I don't like him. I am going to say that I am a little disappointed so far. I definitely thought that this book would be like where I would fall in love with this series and just so far I haven't. Like I'm not absolutely in love with it like everyone else's, which really disappoints me. I'm only 20% through this. I do enjoy having Lowe's perspective a lot more. Hopefully drama ensues. I have a theory that they're going to break up in this book. I have a theory. Also, talking about breaking up, why are Rose and Connor constantly breaking up? Like, Rose, stop pushing him away. I haven't even, I haven't even read your book yet, and I already know that you're pushing him away. Hey guys, it's literally, oh 
my god it's days later i just edited a video and i'm uploading it now so it is about five o'clock and i'm going to get through this book i forgot even how far i am through this book right now i'm 34 percent through the book and i am dedicated to finishing it today so that is what we're doing we are going to finish it okay guys i just read a little bit now i am on part two lo showed up at his dad's doorstep and was like this this and this is happening and his dad agreed to help him but my thing is i feel like his dad is only doing it because he said if this gets out to the tabloids it will not only ruin lily and her parents company but it'll ruin his company so then he wants to help i feel like he only wants to help because it's gonna ruin his company another big reason i picked this up is that so lily and lo love like superheroes and stuff which i love that whole entire aspect of them like that makes me absolutely love them but the freaking quote for part two guys you guys know how much i love spider-man it's a freaking spider-man quote we all have secrets the ones we keep and the ones that are kept from us peter parker the amazing spider-man no oh my god this is just it's too much it's freaking amazing how they put a spider-man quote in <sighs> and literally not me not me cover up with my spider-man blanket come on i will say stuff's getting pretty good they are in they're at spring break right now Reich brought a girl with him and daisy surprised like showed up and surprised them and i just read the part where like lo and lily are at the pool and they're talking to Reich and daisy and Reich and daisy are kind of like flirting not kind of like they're hardcore flirting lily's like uh and lo tells him like he's walking a thin line and Reich's like i always am but i'm kind of like mm she's literally 16 and you're like 22 23 like i feel like this shouldn't even be condoned like i feel like it shouldn't even be a thing that you guys are laughing about because i just feel like it's a little weird just i feel like stuff's about to get interesting omg so many things are happening literally first of all lily's mom okay you because you always had to go talk to her family and when she went and talked to her family, her dad still wanted her to have her trust fund. And her mom was like, no. And her mom was like, you're disgusting and I hate you. Basically what she said. And so they basically came up with this list that Lily has to do to get back into their good graces and get her trust fund back. And now her and Lo are engaged. Ow. Jesus. But her and Lo are engaged now. I don't know. I don't know. I would just... I just filmed a whole entire clip ranting and this stupid even camera wasn't even on. But what I was saying was that I'm super pissed because I didn't talk about this earlier, but Sebastian is Rose's best friend. He's been helping Lily cheat and Connor has kind of been on to him. He's like, why are you getting such good test scores, Lily? You never got good test scores. Well, basically all of this just came out. Connor and Sebastian got into an argument. Rose came in. Sebastian's trying to manipulate her into thinking that Connor is this bad person. And she's freaking looking at Connor. And she's like, I don't even know who you are. And believing Sebastian. I could cry. I'm so pissed. Oh. And Connor even was like, you know that Sebastian has made money off of like selling old tests. Like, do you think that he's just lying? Like, do you think Connor even cares enough to lie? Connor Cobalt does not care enough to lie, and I will have no Connor Cobalt slander, okay? Because half the crap that he puts up with you, Rose, quite frankly, ugh. Oh, wait. Rose just told Sebastian off. Okay, maybe I should like stop before I really go into angry rants. <laughs> okay. It was Reich's mom. At first, Lily thought it was Reich. And I was like, there's no way it was Reich because they would never speak to Reich again. There wouldn't be books about him. So I know it's not Reich. But it was his mom because his mom, obviously Reich and Lo were brothers and, you know, their dad cheated on Reich's mom. So she is the one that exposed everything. Mmm. Awesome. Awesome. I just finished Addicted for now. Oh my god. Okay. So let's talk about it. My official rating for Addicted for now is a four stars because I actually really enjoyed this book. I would say for the first half, because I think you guys could tell like 
about the first 30-ish, 40-ish percent through this book, honestly, it was kind of like the first two where I felt like not much was happening. We were kind of getting more of like a backstory, character, you know, getting to know all the characters. And I was just kind of a little bored. I didn't really want to keep continuing. But then we got into the drama of this book. That's the thing. Like, I feel like all of these books kind of have like drama that goes on. Like this one was about the like secret person that was threatening to spill Lily's secret. So I was really excited to finally get to like some drama because obviously you know that these books are like about them being addicted and having their own addictions. But like, I was excited to get to like the root, you know, like the root, like give me drama, you know, I want all of it. And so once we actually got to that, like when they went to Mexico, I would say the story started heating up for me. I've always like, I have been loving these characters. Like I love them, all of them in their own respective ways. But I was just really, I was really loving it after that. And I really liked it. The only thing that I would say is that the plot twist, like once we find out that it's Reich's mom, I mean, on one hand, it's like, how far could you really like spread that out once you know that information? But on the second hand, I was like, it literally was just like two pages talking about once I actually found out. And I don't know if we're going to touch on it more through the other freaking seven books I have left in the series. I just kind of felt like that was a little rushed. Like all of a sudden it's his mom and boom, Lauren proposes to Lily and that's the end of it. Like I was just kind of like, okay. I mean, I know there are literally two whole books dedicated to them after this. And then I'm sure you hear about them in the rest of the series plus an epilogue novel. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit confused by that. Anyway, that is the end of today's reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. And if you guys like me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the post notification bell at the side to be notified whenever I upload videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited to read the rest of the series. And I will see you guys in SEF. Peace.